Welcome to this Q&A video where we are going to be, we, I say we, I mean I, where I'm going to be answering all of your questions. I got a whole bunch of questions on YouTube and on, no, no, I'm starting again. Welcome to this Q&A where I will be answering all of the questions that you asked me. I've got all of them on my iPad here. I got a whole bunch of questions on Instagram and I actually got a few on YouTube as well, which is kind of annoying because I wanted them all to be on Instagram so that they look like, you know, this. But anyways, that doesn't matter. Before we get started with the questions, I've got some really good questions and I'm really excited to give you all the answers. Before we get started with those questions, if you haven't already subscribed, then hit that subscribe button. I don't know what you're waiting for. Come on, like just, it's one click and you're there. Hit that subscribe button. And not only that, if you are new to this channel, if you subscribed in the last couple of weeks, then let me know in the comments down below that you are new so I can welcome you and, you know, just say hello because that's what I love doing. And, you know, let's just get straight to it because don't want to waste any more time. Question number one from Aesthetic Vibe Store was, what are your thoughts on purchasing Instagram ads and genuine web website traffic? Well, Instagram ads are fine if they are genuine, right? Website traffic is fine if it's genuine. I don't see a problem with it. The only thing I'll say is if you are going to purchase some form of ads, make sure you've got your plan in place. Don't just purchase ads and then figure out your landing page and figure out your sales page and figure out your offer. Make sure everything is done and the last thing you do is buy ads. Doesn't matter where you buy them. If they're genuine ads, then it doesn't matter where they are. There's a lot of noise going on outside. It's kind of distracting. Anyways, from El Malki, solution for deactivated, I assume this means ads manager and losing the data. I am so sorry this happened to you. This has happened to me as well. It's happened to so many people I know, but I'm gonna be honest with you. You're just gonna have to start again. There's no way you're gonna get that account back and that data back. And I say this from someone who has tried so unbelievably hard to get all their data back when losing a Facebook ads account. And it's very annoying. It's like, cause I feel like it's annoying you. Um, yeah, it's very, very annoying. So I'm sorry that's happened to you, but you know, you know, that happens. It's just, what can you do? Right, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get to all the questions by the way in this video, but I'm gonna try and get to as many of them as possible. How long do I need to, how long I need to make sales with the free Instagram traffic? Um, well, this is an impossible question because it can take a week, it can take a month, it can take three months. Like no one can tell you, and I've, I addressed this in my most recent video, no one can tell you how long it will take to actually, you know, get sales. Regardless if it's paid traffic or free traffic, it's very hard to know. The only thing I will say is if it is just free traffic you're using like Instagram, then it will take a long time unless, you know, you blow up or you get a lot of views or whatever it is. But yeah, it's not going to be quick. Right. How to advertise products online and earn from it? Well, I mean, you can advertise on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, Google. Oh, there are so many ways to advertise. But like I said, just make sure your offer is properly done, sorted. It's a brilliant offer. Then start advertising it. Tyrese Halls, did you go to college? What motivates you and what do you think about cryptocurrency? Will you invest? Did I go to college? I did not go to college. I, my education stopped my, uh, well, I should say my, my proper education, I guess, well, not proper, but my education stopped at high school. I then now I take courses and I read books, that kind of stuff. But no, I didn't go to college. What motivates you? Um, I don't know. A lot of things motivate me. I really enjoy working like this YouTube. I really love making videos. Uh, seeing people comment, seeing people like leave likes and seeing people, you know, uh, watch it and interact. That really, really motivates me for this. I get motivated for different reasons for different businesses. So for example, in my Amazon FBA course business really motivates me when I see my students having success in my Amazon FBA business. It really motivates me when I see sales come in. So I get motivated depending on what the business is. And last question he asked was, what about, what do you think about cryptocurrency? I think cryptocurrency is quite cool. You just gotta be really careful with it. Um, he said, will you invest? I've actually already invested in, whoa, don't drop my computer here. I've actually already invested in cryptocurrency. I have um, a whole bunch of, well, not a whole bunch. I have some Bitcoin, I have some Litecoin, nothing major, but I've already invested in it. So yeah, clearly I like it if I'm invested in it. All right, next question. How to get the first dollar in online business? Okay, well, I mean, there's so many ways you can make money online. I would say if you're just getting started, 
probably one of the best ways to do it is affiliate marketing and you can do affiliate marketing as simply as making a YouTube review video on a product or a tool or a service and then have your affiliate link in the description. Easiest way to make money online. With minimum, how much can I start an Amazon FBA business with? Okay, so I'll tell you two price options. Well, start Amazon FBA without a course, just figuring it out on your own. I would say you probably need about 1,000 to 1,200 pounds or dollars. And if you're starting with some form of training, you know, step-by-step -step course, something like that, I would say you need something like 1,500 pounds to 1,000 700 pounds, maybe $1,500, $1,700, because obviously a clump of that is the actual training and then the rest is used on stock advertising, that kind of stuff. Next question. Can a sale come from the first ad campaign or will it come from retargeting audience? No, 100% it can come from the first ad campaign. I would hope it comes from the first ad campaign. Otherwise, there's no point doing a retargeting audience if the initial audience didn't show that, you know, they're buyers. You you only want to do retargeting if the, if the audience is a decent audience. I want to earn money. How can I do that? Watch my videos. How much do you spend on Facebook ads before you decide to scale or to scrap a design? Great question. And it's not about how much you spend to decide if you scrap a design or scale. It's how much you've made. Remember, it's all about ROI, return on investment. So if you spend $100 on an ad and you make $100, I wouldn't scrap it because you're broken even at that point, right? If you spend $100 an ad and you've made zero, right, you've got no sales, then yes, yeah, scrap it. So if you can see consistent sales coming in from your ads and you have a positive ROI, then scale. Scale, by the way, for anyone who doesn't know what it means, it just means put more money in or, or create more ads, you know, in, just invest more into it to get more out. Is this still recording? Yeah, we're still recording. I want to keep this video to like, you know, 12-ish minutes. So whenever I hit 12 minutes, I'm just going to stop answering questions and maybe I'll do another Q&A. If you do want me to answer the rest of the questions, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know in the comments. I got so many questions and I do want to answer them all for you, but I didn't want to drag this video on. So like I said, if you want me to finish answering all the questions in another video, let me know in the comments. I can do a part two. Right. Is it good to become good with print on demand or drop shipping or is there a more profitable business? Great question. I personally, um, if I was focusing all my time on one thing, it wouldn't be print on demand. It would be Amazon. It would be YouTube. It would be affiliate marketing. Print on demand is great and all, but I just personally wouldn't put all my attention into it. I would have it as like a, a side hustle kind of thing, you know, extra income on the side, but I would never put it as my main thing if I was just choosing one. Do you think it's necessary to run ads for print on demand? Can I just upload a lot of quality designs and get sales? Yes, of course. Uh, Redbubble do organic sales, Amazon Merch do organic sales, Teespring kind of do organic sales. There's a few platforms you can actually upload to where you can just do organic sales and also, you know, do free marketing on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, that kind of thing to get sales. So no, you don't have to pay for ads. Just note that it will take a bit longer to actually get sales. Hi, is the Facebook ads the best method to promote our print on demand tell me all free marketing platforms please well i'm not going to answer this question in full detail now because i've actually got a video that goes through seven ways you can click up here toshi sorry if i'm saying your name wrong click up here um you can actually see seven free ways to market your t-shirts is it necessary to have a certain niche what if i've got two good designs but in different niches no, it's not necessary. You can have multiple niches with multiple designs. That's absolutely fine. Just make sure not to like combine the two, right? If you're selling cat t-shirts and you're selling gun t-shirts, don't combine the niches. Keep it separate. Instagram separate, Facebook separate, uh, a storefront separate. Keep it all separate, but there's nothing wrong with having tons of niches, tons of t-shirts. How can we move shirts in Teespring store without having to delete everything and do it from zero? I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm really sorry. I don't know what that even means. In your opinion, is doing a t-shirt pod sales a sustainable business in the long run? I kind of answered this before, but again, I would say if you're going to do it long term, I would say stick with Amazon or, you know, Redbubble somewhere, a company where, you know, there is organic sales and also you build up over time. With Redbubble, you get followers, you get likes, and over time you can get more sales. However, they can close your account like that and i've heard of a lot of people that are happening to amazon same idea it is more sustainable teespring and other companies i personally wouldn't do it because nowadays because i just don't think it's that sustainable i would do it if i wanted quick cash well not quick cash but i would do it if i wanted you know 
money now and not mo- like not i want to create evergreen businesses that's my point right so i would do teespring if i didn't care about an evergreen business the reason i decided to do merch and redbubble is because i want to create evergreen business 18 what's your wife's name this is one of my friends he's yeah yeah okay how many attempts does it take for a beginner to succeed at FBA? There's again, there's no answer to this. Um, it could you could get successful on your first product, your second product, your fifth product. We found success from our first product. However, we have had failed products since our first product, and um, we haven't just had successful products over and over and over again. We've had failures, um, but it, it totally depends on the preparation that goes into creating the business. If you do a lot of preparation and you really, really, really make sure the product is just brilliant, there's no reason why your first product can't be successful. We are on 12 minutes. I'm going to keep going for 30 seconds and then I'm going to end this. The entry barrier, the entry barrier for print on demand is almost none and anyone can just get started. How can you stand out? How can you stand out? Well, create incredibly unique designs, hit on trends, hit on, you know, um, world events and just create really, really, really cool standout designs. There are certain t-shirts that I would buy from a new, from new people just because I think their designs are really good. The quality of their shirts are really good. You know, just make sure you really stand out. Okay. That's 12 minutes, 30 seconds. I want to end this video now because I don't want to drag on for too long. If you want me to do a part two of this, I've got another 10 ish or so questions i would really love to answer so if you want to see a part two with me answering those questions plus maybe a few extra questions let me know in the comments down below and i will happily make a part two for you just want to say thank you so so much for watching if you haven't already liked this video you know commented all of this kind of stuff then what are you waiting for this is all just helping me grow my youtube channel helping with the algorithm and i just you know i love it so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video i bring that video sunday tuesday and Thursday. I will see you there.